Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see today we are going to check fresh release from Edward. That's a big ad set for 135 scale kit from Tacom. Uh, as you can see it's written here that it's designed for use with Panther A. And here we have three sets inside, so basically we have set for interior, white simmerite and also exterior. So it is possible to say that with help of this big envelope you will be able to detail your Panther tank even more and I think it will be good in 135 scale so that's why we are going to check it now. Uh, just to remind you this is a video review only so that's why we will have only video review and no photo article on our website as usual so if you want to know more um, continue watching. <coughs> Sorry. So as you can see it comes in this traditional big ad envelope and on the rear side we have some examples of these PE parts on the plastic. And now I will need scissors in order to open this plastic bag or maybe not. Just give me a second. I just need to peel away this uh, sticky tape and I think we will be good to go. Okay, so now it's good. I'll open it and remove everything what is hidden inside. So here they are, all three sets. So as I said, we have interior, simmerit, and also exterior. So I would like to start with interior because you remember this kit featured interior detailing. So that's why P parts might come handy for even better detailing. So let's open it. Packaging, it's obvious that it's standard for Edward. We have transparent plastic bag. And now, just give me a second. So here it is, and also assembly manual in the middle between the cardboards. Okay. It is important to note I say it every time that all those pictures in this assembly manual are hand drawn. They are not, um, let's say, product of some digital imagery. So here you can see first PE fret. This one is pre-painted. So here you can see it. We have various uh, faces for devices installed in the tank, radio stations and other stuff. So it is typical product for Edward, I would say. And then we have also <coughs> this, um, it is P thread which is finished in traditional golden color, here you can see it. So here we will have to do a lot of bending, obviously those are boxes for the ammo, but let's check the assembly manual so that we know what and how we will be assembled. So here we have these boxes which we will have to bend, I'll focus the camera for you so that you can see it. Now you should be able to see it. Here we have the second type of the boxes. And also on the other side we have uh, several more types of the, those boxes for the ammo. Then we have another sheet of paper. Here you can see how we will be modifying internal equipment. So you will have to completely send off the face of those parts and apply PE parts instead in order to get a completely different appearance. But it will be worth it because final appearance will change noticeably once you install those parts in place. Okay, so that's an interior set and we are going on with Simmerit set which comes in this nice Ziploc bag and I'm going to open it. This one should be similar to what we saw for the King Tiger, for example, you can find the review on our YouTube channel. And it means that we will get several large PE threads. So just give me a second. Okay. And maybe there is one more or not? No. So in total there are two large PE threads. I won't be lifting them up because they're really um, easy to bend, so you can see them like this. And as you can see, we have special, let's say, sections of the timerite, so you just place them on the necessary segment of the part, of the plastic part, 
and you will be good to go. Obviously such approach is easier to work, you don't have to get your hands dirty with putty, but it will be up to you. Some modders are not in favor of such solution because it's not hardcore much. <coughs> so that's why it is up to you. Here we have second P fret. As you can see, this one is dedicated to minor P ports. And here, again, the same level of quality. And just to be sure, I will remind you that all those parts have a, uh, let's say, relief. So I will show you so that you understand what I'm talking about. Here it should be perfectly visible. So these are not plain parts. These are actually, let's say, they have volume and it, it, this volume will be looking even better after some careful painting. Then here we have assembly menu. Assembly menu is printed in the same style as in the previous set. So here you can see, for example, installation on the lower hull port. Here we install everything on the top. Then we continue with rear armor plate. And note that, for example, for the frontal mudguards, we have separate cut um, sections which should be applied one by one. The same can be said about this armor, uh, side armor. And here we have the final steps which are concerned with turret. So as you can see, turret will also get its portion of the Zimmerit. And the only thing which is quite interesting is that you have to use the metal ball. I will zoom in so that you can see it. So here you can see it. So metal ball, in order to get this part round, it will be covering the um, uh, frontal machine gun which is installed in Glacis plate. And next we have another P set, here it is. So this one is concerned with exterior as you remember. So this is a final third P set and now we are going to open it. Packaging again is typical, transparent plastic bag. So we are going to open it and check everything closer. Here is one and only P for it as far as I can see. And we also have assembly manual here. <clears throat> so, first of all, P fret is typical for this manufacturer once again. So let me zoom the camera. Now you should be able to see it. Here it is. Nice quality here. We have various chains replicated. And these parts are quite small, even though this is a 135 scale. Here you can see comparison with my fingertip. So be careful, better to get some sharp tweezers because otherwise it will be really difficult to handle those parts. But once you apply them, difference will be noticeable. So take your time, work with this, and it will be a really nice result. And now we can move to assembly manual. So here is the assembly manual. First of all, we will be working on this uh, side, <coughs> sorry, um, side fittings, which are actually employing this uh, copying of the chains, as you can see here. So you have to do some work, precise work, because otherwise you won't be able to fit those parts through those holes. It will be really difficult. It's like, there is no point to hide it, I would say. Then you will have to change the clamps for the Pioneer tools, for the fire extinguisher, for another tool. Then we work with those cutters. Again, we replace in the clamps. The storage bins will be upgraded as well. And here, this uh, model will actually benefit from PE parts because as you can see, PE parts bring completely different uh, appearance, which will be more realistic as a result. Then here we continue with various uh, Pioneer tools, boxes, as you can see, box will be upgraded as well. And here we upgrade several other Pioneer tools, for example, it's here, hammer. Of course, it will be up to you if you would like to change all those clamps and holders for tools, but I think it's worth it, especially if you go like with uh, P upgrades, it's worth trying to install everything on your kit because final appearance, final result will be completely different once you have all those tiny things in place. And that's pretty much all. We have three sets, as I said, exterior, Zimmerit and interior. All those three are available in this big ad set on official Edward website. You can order it directly there. Once again, I remind you that if you order big ad, you are able to save more money. So it's worth considering it if you plan to detail your punter in 135 scale. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. 
If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.